Hello makers and welcome back to my channel. If you're into 3D printing, photography and drones, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything. We're reviewing a filament today, we're reviewing TPU, orange, like kind of a flu, fluo orange from Azure Film. It was my first experience ever with TPU and uh, it was a great experience. Before getting into the review, I would like to tell you about this collaboration I have ongoing with this really good friend of mine, Giuseppe. He runs an Instagram page, 3D Print All. You will find all the links in the description. He talks about 3D printing world, about printers. He talks about filament. He reviews filament and talks about application of 3D prints to electronic. It's a very fun page to go visit. All the links will be in the description. <laughs> The unboxing experience as usual with Azure Film is a great experience. All the spools are vacuumed and sealed and they're rolled and fixed in a very, very decent way. I mean, not all filaments are spooled this way and this is a sign of like really high quality that Azure Film puts into the making of their filament. Azure Film is a company based in Sazana. All their production is there in Slovenia, very close to the Italian border. So 100% European filament. All the filaments that I review from Azure Film, you will find the links in the description to go and buy them. If you use the code Alessandro10 on your uh, checkout, you will have a 10% discount. Some of you already know that I like to divide the review in three parts. I usually talk about the uh, benches, I print out some benches, then I talk about uh, some tabletops I've printed, and then I show out some useful stuff. Of course, TPU is, let's say, 90% aimed to useful stuff that we will see in a moment, but I also printed out some tabletops. I started out with the benchy, and the first thing I printed was this calibration cube by Kep. And I must say, it came out great, but there's a but. I was very lucky because soon after this, right after this, my bed was not leveled perfectly. That resulted in, you know, awful prints, like wasteable. These are like wristbands and cable, uh, cable management uh, clip they all failed and that was because my bed wasn't leveled properly and that's very important when printing tpu it doesn't matter if the the bed is heated or not the important thing is the bed needs to be perfectly leveled and kind of a little bit more like squeezed than a regular than printing regular pla i fixed that and i started printing another couple of benches of course i printed out my calicat you know, I love Calicats. It printed out smoothly. It had a little bit of stringing here on the ears and I cut it off. But other than that, it went great. Then I printed out this bowl. It had a little bit of support underneath and you can see it's a bit rough. But guys, TPU printed easy, very easy. And of course, it's the first TPU I try, so I don't have any other reference, but for what I see, it's more than enough. I decided then to print out some tabletops and the first one that comes to my mind, a model that I love, is the Matterhacker Filament Astronaut. This is all TPU, 20% infill, it's squishy and guys, I love it. I mean, I'm in love with this model, it, it tells you a lot about the filament and it turned out great. It looks amazing. This orange neon gives the TPU a touch that's like really, really nice. Then I printed out, of course, an octopus. We're talking about flexible filaments. And I needed to print an octopus. Same 20% infill. Kids love it. And it's, you know, unbreakable. It turned out 
perfectly. No raft, no brim, straight to the bed. Bed was leveled perfectly. Great result. Then I decided to get in vase mode. I had tried this once and it failed. Tried the second one. Very thin layer here, not 0.8. It's breaking a little bit. I can already see it because I was squishing it, like doing all my tests. But the result is not bad at all. Not bad at all. I fixed the layer width to 0.8 as I normally do with vase mode. And the result is this. <laughs> it's kind of fun. I mean, you have a vase that usually breaks in your hands, but this time it looks good. It really looks amazing and feels amazing. Of course, there's some issues because speed, I was sprinting too, too fast. It was extruding at 0.8 width even though I had a 0.4 nozzle. So that's a trick that like 80% of time works, but the 20 other percent of time, like especially with TPU and different material, that will not work every time. But even though it's a great, it's a, it's a great base and it's, uh, it's surprisingly squishy and soft. I love this elastic material. I decided then to print out something useful and this is what I'm going to show you now is, you know, tabletops and useful stuff. And I printed out a Cybertruck from Tesla and I needed TPU to do the wheels of this Tesla. And the wheels came out great, as you can see. Nice and soft. This was the third or fourth print I did with TPU. So infill is still a lot. I used like 40 or 50. I could have used 10. They would have been more, you know, soft. But result is amazing. And it looks really cool on the Tesla Cybertruck model. Then what I decided to print was this cable band. Something's like really, really simple cable management. This goes right like this and then the hook keeps the cable in place and you can fix and organize all your cables like this now it's closed and your cables are nice and safe it's practically indestructible tpu works perfectly for this kind of stuff so I will print 10 or 15 of these. I have in mind to clean the mess that's like behind this computer, all the cables are hanging. And this small band, this TPU will solve the problem. The last useful thing I printed was a cover for this joystick here. It's a controller of the Mavic Pro. As you can see, they're kind of flimsy. And if you put them in the bag, they kind of bend and they can get destroyed. I printed out this. This goes right on top of them. There you go. No way for them to bend anymore. And I can throw this in my backpack and it will work perfectly. So useful stuff that you can print with TPU. There, there are many, of course, it doesn't suit tabletops and beautiful stuff to see, but this with this color, this color gives an accent to your prints and makes them more beautiful even to your eyes. So let's make a recap of this filament. It's TPU. It's kind of made for, you know, uh, specific use and useful stuff. It's not made to do this. This is a waste of TPU, even though I kind of love it. This is extremely nice to do. And I, I'm going to I think I'm going to continue doing this until I break it and probably I will be sorry about that. But anyhow, this filament is a great filament. I was a beginner, so you saw what I just printed. It was my first time printing TPU. Just fixed the bed leveling. That was very important. That's why I had my second and third uh, fail print. 
and that was the only issue. Apart from that, I fixed the temperature to 220. Azure tells us that you can print from 200 to 230. I tried 250 and then I dialed in at 220. That was working for me. And it's a great filament. TPU, I mean, if you're watching this video, you know what TPU is for. It's not up on me to tell you how to use it. But the quality of this TPU, I can tell you it's really, really nice and I would definitely buy it again. I'm gonna call Azure and tell them to, uh, I'm gonna order some stuff, I can't ask it for free. But, you know, it's, it's a great filament. Azure Film is a warranty of quality. I mean, when you buy Azure Film, you know exactly what you buy. All the links to buy this filament and other filaments will be down in the description. If you buy from the link, you can use the code Alessandro10. You will have a 10% discount on your purchase. That was all for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like button if you did, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, and I'll see you guys on the next video.